Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 8, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, yes, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally last week and then completely fell apart on Friday and also now on Monday. We did rally and then continue to fall apart. So there is um, quite a lot of support down here. So it is going to be a challenge in, the, in order to get through. But if we get through, then we're looking at uh, testing the previous lows here back in January uh, this year. And uh, it looks like that is going to uh, very possibly be going to be the case. So US dollar is continue to depreciate. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, turning around. Stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around, and so is the RSI. And to getting rejected this heavily at the top of the bullish band could mean that we will drop at least towards the bottom of the bullish band at 89.47. Uh, so let's look at oil. So oil is uh, continuing its rally. We're at 69.09 at, um, at, at this current stage. You're getting really close to 70. We'll probably have a pullback before getting above 70. And it will most likely find massive uh, support down here at 66, which is the previous highs here as well. And also the, the, the uh, where the 20 exponential moving average is at this current stage. So we'll probably go down here and then rally to the upside. If we manage to break above uh, 70, then we'll mostly go and target 75. Technical condition, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is kind of flat at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to defy, uh, technically, well, reality to be very honest it is uh going to struggle most likely in this area you can see how often we have tested this in the in the last few months uh, this is back in october where we tested this we had, this was basically in february and now we have tested it a few times as well so 20 exponential is uh, holding here as support and as long as that is the case we are most likely going to grind to the upside if we manage to break above here then we're mostly looking at the previous highs here of uh, 3.395 and um, to the downside if we break below the 20 exponential then we have the 50 down here at the 2.86 and the 200 moving average and the 200 moving average offered quite a lot of support the last time we we broke down so for this time of year, it's um, it's um, usually we have a breakdown in natural gas. But at this current stage, it is bouncing off the 20 exponential. And as long as that is the case, we are mostly going to grind even higher. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at copper. So copper, if you look at this a massive run here from april last year until where we are right now has dipped quite a bit from the very highs here of 4.87 so there's a lot of room to the upside of this current stage rsi is also very very low and we are approaching the 50 moving average and as you can see 50 moving average 50 moving average we have bounced off the 50 moving average uh, several times we didn't break we did break down today uh, probably due to the peruvian election as uh, yes it is probably going to be a little bit chaotic uh, as it is the second largest uh, producer of copper in the world and uh, political turmoil will well that will create a volatile market the question is whether or not that volatility is going to be the upside or to the downside um um less productive uh, methods uh, will mostly decrease uh, supply and that could um, increase this to the upside but if you uh, if they start to um, produce more then we could basically see this drop to the downside but that is to be seen it did not seem like um, the market was ready to fall below the 50 moving average and as long as that is the case it will most likely grind uh, continue grinding to the upside
If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point for the daily chart. We can see that uh, uh, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is turning around, but it's still bearish, and the RSI is flat. So, break. No, I don't know what that is. Break above the uh, break above the uh, 20 exponential moving average. No idea what that was. Break above the 20 exponential moving average, it will open the door to the previous highs here up at 4.7 and break above that that could lead all the way up towards the very top of the bullish band at 4.78 so let's look at the gold so gold continues to rally and uh, we found massive support here at the 20 exponential moving average rallied to just above there and at the moment it looks like we are heading back above 1900 and if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then 1950 and 2000 will mostly be our target in the long run. Break above the 2000, then 20, uh, 2100 is going to be targeted. If you look at technical indicators, they are not favoring the upside at this current stage. MACD is uh, is um, MACD is a bearish. The stochastic is bearish, and uh, the CCI is bullish and the RSI is technically flat at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver also found massive support down here at the, 50, no, at the bottom of the bullish band, roughly at 20, uh, $27, and has rallied above the middle of the bullish band again. Long term target here mostly will be 30,000, uh, 30,000, and that is basically where we found uh, massive resistance right here and also here when we had this, well, kind of GameStop uh, day in the market where this was just pumped and dumped. Um, so this was a, a basically a phenomenon that people mostly got together to in order to to uh, to pump and dump this because usually this grinds to the upside or has these movements here this is uh, basically a one-off but it showed that that resistance was around this area of 29 or 30 uh, 30 dollars so as long as we are bouncing off the 20 exponential that will most likely be the the target in the long run break below Break below here, then the 50 moving average gets into play, and also the 200 moving average at 25.69. So let's look at platinum. There we are. So platinum um, has found support down here at 11.39, and we are rallying up towards the 20 exponential. So we have tested it two times in uh, the last two weeks and got rejected if we get rejected now then we could, could even go lower and lower towards 1100 and to 200 moving average uh, break above the 50 then we could go back towards the previous highs here if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish cci is flat is the stochastic is flat we have the cci this is negative as well and the rsi is flat as well so let's take a pallium So pallium is just uh, hanging on here at the 20 exponential, just above the 50 moving average. And if you look at technical indicators, they are all very flat at this current stage. We've just been going sideways. We did uh, break below the 50 moving average, but rallied all the way back up really nicely and then gave most of those gains back. So this market doesn't really know where it's uh, where it wants to go at this current stage. We can see that we have a resistance line here that we need to break above get rejected here then we'll most likely continue going lower towards the 200 moving average and um, yes that it's um, if you look at in this way as well we have this triangle that we are most likely going to go into this corner so momentum to the upside doesn't look like there's a lot of that continue when considering these uh, technical indicators and uh, looking at the shape of this it looks like we're going into this corner gonna break to the downside or towards the upside so let's look at aluminium so aluminium has gotten rejected here in the middle of the bullish band and is most likely going to go back towards the 50 moving average which has proven to be support uh, as well so we do as well have um, 
upper resistance line here that we need to get get past in order to go back towards um, these previous highs here of 2566. So at the moment, it looks like we are getting rejected and going slowly um, towards the downside. If we break the 50 moving average, we can drop to 2250 and the 200 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside. Momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has bounced off the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is a very encouraging sign. We did fall towards the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average that offered massive amount of support, rallied towards the top here. We have tested it several times in the past and then basically broke down. Technically, negative, they do favor the downside at this point, but this rally at the end of the US session and the bounce of the 20 exponential, that's a very encouraging sign. If you manage to take out these previous highs here, then we can go towards 19,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has broken down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and we're trading at 0 0.1732. Technical indicators, they do favor the downside. So break below here could open the door to the 50 moving average, which was the previous lows as well here. Break below the 50, that opened the door to the 200. So uh, it kind of looks like we're trading in a, in a square at this point, being the highs of roughly 0 0.18, the lows here down at the 50 moving average, 0 0.16. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has uh, did rally on on Friday and then gave all of those gains back today. Um, technically, in the we can see that uh, the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat as well. Break below the 50 moving average here opens the door back towards these previous lows at 0 0.81 and the uh, bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.79. Rally to the upside. Well, we'll most likely find massive. Um, we need to basically take out these previous highs here in order to get towards the top of the bullish band at 0 0.87. So let's look at cocoa, which had a fairly red day today. So yes, we are technically trending, uh, trading in a square, the highs here and the lows, give or take here. So we're getting very close to the very lows after 23.26 and the highs here of 25.40. If you look at technical indicators, we are, they are all favoring the downside. So momentum is definitely to the downside. If this basically breaks, then we can go to these previous lows at uh, 22.35 and then to these previous lows at uh, 20.89. So let's look at wheat. Yes, so wheat did rally up towards uh, 703 and then gave all of those gains back. And now we are finding ourselves just above the 50 moving average at 680. Technical indicators, they are fairly all over the place uh, for, or basically flat. Uh, the MACD is flat, so stochastic is, is kind of flat. The CCI is also flat and the RSI is also flat. So yes, not a lot of help here. We need the crossing of the MACD here and we need the, basically a rally of the of stochastic and the CCI in order to continue towards 100 in order to determine that we are going to the upside. Break below the 50 moving average could drop all the way down back towards 637 or rebound here. We must only find massive resistance at 737. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.